All right, Papa Pepper here. I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to tell the difference between a racer and a black rat snake. Now, a black rat snake, and this guy's about to shed, but if you notice on the belly, you see it goes from white to white and black to pretty much black and red, then to completely black. And that'll be even more uh, distinct and noticeable when, um, when he sheds. Then also, it's harder to see the older they get, but there is an actual pattern all the way down the side of it too. And the head's going to be a little broader. A racer is going to be a little more slender. The head will definitely be skinnier, kind of more the same size as the neck, where the black rat, his head comes out right away, um, the back of his jaw. And also, with the racer, you're going to have a solid colored belly. Um, racers can sometimes have yellow on the throat, but you're definitely not going to have red, you're not going to have black, you're not going to have a pattern on the belly or on the side. They're going to be uniform in color. And um, also racers, you can get kind of blacks, grays, blues, or a black rat snake, except for when they get a little grayer when they're about to shed. They're going to be um, a slight pattern, but they're also going to pretty much be, uh, be black. So. The good news is if you have a large black snake um, in North America without having a pattern, it's not going to be a rattlesnake, it's not going to be a uh, water moccasin or uh, copperhead, and it's not going to be a, well those are the pit vipers, but it's also not going to be a coral snake. So if you see a large black snake in North America, and if it's indigenous, you don't really have an issue. So. Those are just the quick differences. I'll take a few photos too. And uh, they're both very defensive. You can see him opening his mouth. He also can't see well because he's about to shed, so he's just being defensive. Pop out.